Hey guys, I'm doing the line art for my sketchbox test, and I'm gonna do it with a Marvy Lapin permanent. This pin came with my art snacks um, this month, which is January 2016, but since my sketchbox didn't come with any sort of permanent inking utensils and um, it's a watercolor box, so it's just watercolor pencils, I wanted to do a line art first, and I didn't necessarily want it to be pencil. It's not like a pencil came in my box either. So, um, I've already talked a little bit on my Art Snacks uh, line art about this pen. For those of you who are tuning in only for my Sketchbox reviews, this, um, this isn't the best inking pen. Um, it's an alcohol-based inking pen, and it's very prone to bleeding. So, I'm not inking this because I like the pen so much. I'm inking it with this pen because it's just part of the joint review. And for this test, I'm doing a very simple bouquet of flowers. Since my sketch box came with some watercolor pencils this year in very um, primary tone, this year, this month, came with some watercolor pencils this month in very primary toned. Uh, in my opinion, flowers are the way to go for that. If you just want to do a quick test and you don't want to have to worry too much about blending. And I'm doing this test on in my Strathmore um, watercolor visual journal. This was not included in my sketch box. This is part of a different, or this sketch, blo sketch book was purchased as part of a different review. I'm just using it because it's very convenient. And, uh... Once I finish inking this line art, I'm going to let it rest for a few hours and probably get to coloring it sometime tonight. So for you guys, that'll seem like no time has passed, but I do want you to know that I allowed my line art to rest for a while before I put water and color over it. And that's something I try to do for all of my line arts. Even when I have time constraints, like with these um, art subscription boxes, I want to get them out in a timely fashion. And if you enjoy this video, or if you enjoy any of my reviews, please consider backing my upcoming Patreon. Not only does it help me purchase more art supplies, but it allows you guys to vote, and you'll have access to exclusive con backer-exclusive content, as well as unlockable tutorials and reviews. And, of course, you... Um, contributing to any of my donation opportunities allows helps me keep my lights on and that's important if you're not comfortable with patreon or my paypal you can always purchase something out of my shop just check the card right there uh, i'm a comic artist and i also offer commissions so if you enjoy my content and you'd like to show some support but you'd like to get something sizable in return my shop would be the way to go. So I'm going to do the sketch box field test video with um, the supplies that were included in my January 2016 sketch box. And, and I am also going to use, um, or I already used, the Marvy Le Pen Permanent, which came in my art snacks. Um, this pink you see here is the crink acrylic that soaked through my heavy watercolor paper. Um, it's not really part of the, this review, it's part of the Art Snacks review. So just keep that in mind. Um, for those of you who didn't see my earlier videos, um, this month's sketch box, and it's my first sketch box, and it's a basic subscription, um, because I'm paying for it out of pocket, <laughs> are the Art Alternatives watercolor pencils, 12 of them, and a brush, 
and um, two Aqua Duo pencils from Derwent and a Sakura Koi water brush. And I've already mentioned in the other video that I, as a watercolor artist, I am really not impressed at all by the quality of these art alternatives pencils. And I am kind of disappointed in Sketchbox for including them. Um, I guess that's what you get when you're cheap and broke and you go with the basic set. But I think that's kind of a shame. And since my favorite sharpener is elsewhere in the room, I'm going to use this little magnesium eraser by KUM. I mean sharpener by KUM. And just finish cleaning up my line work a bit. And then I can get started. So the selection they sent me, it being 12, is um, kind of limited. So I opted to do flowers because I thought that would take, um, that would make the best use of what I've got. And I don't really care for watercolor pencils in the best of scenarios. Um, I find them frustrating and often difficult to use. So, um... I personally don't think they're the best introduction to watercolors. The card that had been sent with my kit said they were including um, these watercolor pencils as like um, a way of easing people in, which, you know, it's not how I would ease people into watercolors personally, um, but I'm going to give them a shot. I really don't do a lot of illustration with watercolor pencils. And when I do illustrate with watercolor pencils, I prefer to use um, Derwent's Ink Tense pencils. I think they are a great quality watercolor pencil. They are permanent after you've added water and the water is dried. Um, but you know, to me, in my opinion, that's a small price to pay. Um, I should probably work with the book open so I'm not putting pressure. Because this is going to, yeah, if you can't see, it's already applied pressure on my prior page and stuck the two together. So I think I'm going to put something in as a buffer. This is my art, this is my ongoing art snacks field test. I say ongoing because it's still not dry. And if you're interested in seeing how these two art subscription box services stack up, you should check out my other videos in this playlist and you should also um, consider checking out my blog, netosoup.blogspot.com. I have a year subscription to both services. Um, and this post is going to be free to anyone, but subsequent posts will only be unlocked when my um, backer, total backer contribution hits $15, which really isn't unreasonable. That's 15 people, 15 readers, 15 viewers contributing $1 a month. Um, and I'll let you know when my Patreon has launched. So those of you who are interested in these kind of videos can get on that and start um, subscribing. And there's going to be lots of other, lots of other goodies that I'm going to have exclusive to backers. So I'm just putting down a basic application of color first um, before I put any water down at all. And as regular pencils, these mark these pencils are not particularly highly pigmented. They leave something to be desired. Um, if you're curious to see how they swatched, this is my swatch sheet right here. It is not really that impressive, unfortunately. And I'm just trying to decide what colors to blend to get the colors I want. And um, the nice thing about watercolor pencils is if you you can build up tones and richness the same way you would um, 
with regular watercolors. By applying color and letting it dry and applying color on top of that. It's kind of a warm yellow and it's a little bit of a mistake to use it with these greens. But I was not given a cooler yellow in this 12 piece set. Instead they saw fit to give me a white pencil which has barely any opacity at all even when it's um, dry let alone when it's wet. And if you're interested in checking out some of my more serious watercolor pieces, I highly recommend you um, considering consider purchasing a copy of Seven Inch Kara Volume One. It's the first volume in my ongoing comic about a tiny little girl named Kara who makes friends with humans. Um, or you can see some of my more serious watercolors on my blog, although you're gonna have to kind of search for them. Or you can check out the children's book I'm working on, Gizmo Grandma. Uh, I'm working on that with a writer, Lenore Salazar, and that's going to be coming out in 2016. But um, a lot of the illustrations for the book are on my Behance, which has um, it has. Did I not swatch that pink? Or is that pink and orange? Or is this orange a? Pink? Okay, so I've got this which might be a pink this which might be a red but it looks like it's an orange this which might be a red none of them have color names on them so that makes my job a little more difficult but i think it is the orange you can tell I actually don't use color pencils for coloring very often. I prefer um, markers of all kinds and I prefer watercolors. So my color pencil skills are very rusty. And this pink is a very red pink. not at all like the pink in the image I'm referencing so I'm just gonna have to play it by ear so in my ideal blind box that's a watercolor introduction what I'd like to see and it's gonna make it harder to do a full piece but I think it's a better introduction to the various watercolor mediums would be um, uh, a watercolor marker so maybe one of the Winsor Newton ones, um, a, sorry, it's hard for me to talk and color for some reason, uh, a tube of watercolor paint by a decent brand, um, maybe Winsor Newton or Holbein or, um, I mean, even, even Jerry's brand Soho, which is really cheap. They're okay. They're not color fast because they're reliant on dyes rather than pigments. But even that, even like three of Soho would be better than 12 awful watercolor pencils. Um, so I'd like to see a, dang it, I keep losing track of my thought. I'd like to see a tube paint. I'd like to see a couple of half pans from a brand. Um, Lucas makes all right half pans. They're not great. Like I'm trying by listing these things, I'm trying to list things that I know are affordable under a $10 price point for sure. Um, I'd like to see a couple of good watercolor pencils. So Derwent Inktense and the Aquatones that they sent me are actually pretty dang good over here. I need to work those in somehow. We'll see. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, I'd also like to see like um, a stick form 
So, um, maybe Winsor Newton's watercolor pigment sticks would be a good option. Uh, this set included a watercolor, a water brush, so I'm on board with the water brush, but maybe, um, like a decent actual brush, um, not the crummy in kit brush that came with my art alternatives watercolor pencils something else I'd like to see an art subscription service do is like one tutorial or technique a month so they send you the basics for that technique so like Tombow would come with a piece of like um, clear plastic to practice your blending techniques on I'm actually gonna go with this cooler red for this flower which is supposed to be fuchsia but is not going to be fuchsia in fact it looks like mud on here I mean the thing about watercolors is like Daniel Smith does a, a sample set where it's like a, a little pea-sized dot of the um, the the paint on a card and you get like you could get like 12 or you can get their whole range actually which I think is really cool so even something like that if you're like trying to be cost effective even a pea-sized dot of something good is enough to tell people whether or not they like a product whether or not they're interested in a product as opposed to 12 kind of garbagey supplies and I'm sorry if I'm stepping on any toes here I purchased this subscription with my own money uh, without the aid of any sponsorship for the re for um, review purposes for my YouTube channel and my blog and I have enough experience that I think I can I can have an opinion about these supplies especially since I've been reviewing supplies regularly for the past few years not trying to burn any bridges I just want my viewers and people interested in the company both in um, art alternatives and in arts uh, sorry, sketchbox I just want them to be able to make a good decision about what they're what they're getting uh, when I was looking into sketchbox most of the boxes I saw turned out to be the premium boxes and it wasn't always clear whether or not the person was unboxing or showing off their premium box or their basic box. And I'd ordered a basic box because that's more in line with my budget and it's more in line with the budget of my readers. Sorry. I'm also trying to take some photos for the post as I go. I forgot I was recording. Really, to me, this feels like a cheap art supply challenge rather than um, a subscription art supply box. Okay, so this is my the very basics of my art alternatives piece, and I'm going to start adding water and blending. And I'm doing that with the water brush they had included. And this is one of a couple of ways you can you can handle watercolor markers. Uh, the other way is you apply your pencils to a piece of paper, like a sheet of heavy paper with a lot of tooth, and you then pick up your color from that and uh, then apply it to the paper. Sort of the way I handle my um, watercolor markers in posts I've shared with you guys. So adding water does not really do much to disperse these pigments or to... Um, Mm, increase their saturation which is a shame my water brush is being kind of finicky I might actually have to switch it out for a different water brush that will actually work oh, okay Ew. all right I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this water brush out for one that didn't come with the set but might work better 
Let's see, do you have water in you? You do, awesome. So this is, I'm gonna say this is a Niji water brush. That's one, I actually use these often for testing, yeah. It's producing more water and with less problems. So I'm gonna blend all the colors and then um, as best as I can, I'm gonna blend the colors. There really isn't much pigment movement with these. And um, then I might do another layer. And um, I've mentioned this in the other reviews, but I haven't mentioned this on this one. Um, Sketchbox starts at $25 for their basic box, which is what I am reviewing today. Um, their premium box full of premium supplies is $10 more. Um, and I kind of wish they would send their basic subscribers just fewer premium supplies. That is something I could get behind. And I'm doing my test on um, Strathmore, oh, Strathmore Visual Journal watercolor paper, uh, mostly for my own convenience, and part of a review for that as well. But that's coming later on. Okay. So let's see about blending these. Just really not getting any movement. It's about the same as if I put, um, or it feels about the same as if I was using kind of loose, uh, regular water or I'm sorry, colored pencils. So, like, if you put water on top of Karan Dash Pablo pencils, you'll get the same amount of movement, and those aren't even watercolor pencils. Whereas with the, um, Aquatones that came in this month's sketch box, you're gonna see a lot more movement. But the, I got brown and bl a blue with those. They didn't even send me like something other than what I got in the the crummy set, so it's hard for me to properly. The yellow performs okay. That's the only color that performs decently is the yellow. I'm going to let that soak in and um, get back to you guys. Okay, so those have mostly dried and I can start trying to blend this pink. The red blends a little bit better, but with the purple you can definitely see where I put the pencil down. Like there's not much blending that out. So I'm going to let all of this dry and then I'm going to try and do another layer to try and develop some um, more intense tones. So the thing about watercolor, mark, uh, watercolor pencils is when you're applying them to the paper, you need your paper to be dry or it's going to start cutting up your paper and that's going to ruin your paper surface and it's going to make it more difficult for you to apply color later on. Um, and the paper I'm using is mostly dry dropped it in my cup. Mostly dry. Um, so I'm going to take a risk and try to, nope, it wants to cut it because there's so little pigment in these mark in these pencils. It doesn't just want to like a lay down color. So I can't, I can't cheat it. I can only work as fast as these things are going to allow me to work, which is frustrating because I really don't want to spend all night just doing reviews. I mean, these aren't heavily pigmented to begin with, and then you combine them with um, damp paper, and it's just not a happy situation. So yeah, I gotta let this dry further, and I'll get back to you. I might go put it under the fan. <laughs> hey guys, um, so my paper has had a little bit more of an opportunity to dry. It's dry to the touch now, which is probably not as dry as it needs to be. And I am applying my second layer of color with the Art Alternatives. I 
because that first pass was just not saturated at all. That's the problem with cheap art supplies is um, they often tend to be less pigmented than their more expensive counterparts. And it not only takes you longer because you have to do several passes to get it right, but it also, um, you may never build up the contrast you need. So I also find that cheap art supplies do not behave similarly to more expensive supplies. Like I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Aquatone. See, with very little pressure, I'm already getting much deeper color than I was getting from pushing down on the art alternatives. With cheaper art supplies, they just don't behave the same way at all. They require so much more exertion and um, it's often difficult to build up enough pigment to get the contrast you want and your uh, pigments may end up becoming muddy instead of staying true and layering properly. So I get very frustrated when people are like, you should learn on the cheap supplies. It's like, if they're good cheap supplies, you can learn on them. But if they're um, just cheap, cheap supplies that use cheap processes, then uh, you're probably not really going to be learning a whole lot because you're going to spend your time just struggling to make the supplies work for you. On the other hand, um, you know, it definitely makes it seem like you've improved by leaps and bounds when you switch over to the more expensive supplies. So that's the Aquatone by Durant, Durwind. I can't talk today. Still waiting on some areas to dry. Like this big flower. Oh, parts of it are actually dry now, so I can put that second layer in. This time I'm using a darker red, because that pink was not actually pink. It was just like a light red, desaturated red. Another problem with cheap pencils like this is they tend to, um, because you're struggling so hard to put pigments down, they tend to burnish the surface of the paper, making it smooth, which makes it harder to do other layers of color because it's not going to grab and hold on to the pigments as much. I think I'm actually going to try and mess with the color on this flower here because it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. And you guys might be thinking this looks decent because when I'm not looking at the reference, I'm like, that's not so bad. And then I look at the reference and I'm like, oh yeah, I had to make a lot of compromises I didn't want to make due to the limitations of these pencils. That might be the darkest I can get that. So we're going to go over the areas I did with Aquatone first, and you can see how vibrant that blue is. And I hardly put any at all, but it's so pigmented. <clears throat> that a little can kind of stretch a long way. So the Aquatone is very nice. I'm curious how similar Aquatone is in formula to their ink tents. Because with ink tents, once you put some color down, you can't remove it, you can't um, lift it out. Which I think is probably fairly common with watercolor pencils in general. But. I've heard other artists complain that it's an issue, so maybe it's not a common trait. So that was the Aquatone right there. And I'm just gonna, since I have some, hey, oh, shoot, my cat just turned off the light. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, that's had a minute to kind of dry. So I'm gonna clean my brush and see if I can't scrub some of that blue. 
and it looks like it is not it's not as easy to scrub around as regular watercolors would be but there's a little bit more movement than there usually are with the Derwent ink tents so they're somewhere in between I guess And I'm going to allow that to dry and I'll get back to you with um, probably some final details using the Aquatones since they seem to be performing the best. Okay, so that is sufficiently dry. I can start adding a little bit of brown shadow with the Derwent Aquatone. And this is Burnt Umber. Sorry, my mistake. I'm so pulled in. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. The paper is still a little bit wet, and instead of wanting to catch those pigments and kind of disperse them, it just wants to not mark at all. So you guys can probably tell there isn't a lot of difference in saturation. And I am going to use this Prussian blue, which is actually a cold blue and is not really good for this. I'm going to use it to try and knock in some shadows on some of these flowers. A lot of visual interest comes from having a decent amount of contrast without it all turning to mushy mud. I did not pick up any of the red from the flower when I cleaned my pencil. That doesn't, that's not so great. Art, art alternatives. Kind of crummy. I'm blending out that burnt umber I'd applied in the shadows. And some of the shadows. So with some watercolor pencils, the colors only really, like the ink tents, which are my favorite. I know I keep talking about them. Um, like with the ink tents, your colors only get vibrant once you hit it with water and then it's like poof, color explosion. Oh, that's another thing. My ideal watercolor box would have some brusho in it because I really, really want to mess around with brusho and I just, I haven't gotten around to buying it yet. And my ideal art subscription can read my mind and tell all the things I would love to try that I haven't gotten around to. So that is pretty much my um, field test with oh I can't include this because that was not what they sent me this is what they sent me um, mine was just not working properly that was my field test with pretty much everything included in this month's sketch box I did opt not to use the included garbage brush <laughs> I don't even know where it is, but it was it's terrible. Um, but I did use the Art Alternatives pencils and the Aquatone. And um, I'm going to check back in with you guys to complete my art, art snacks. Oh my gosh. Oh, my brain wants to keep switching the names around. I will check back in with you guys for the Art Snacks field test in a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed my January 2016 sketch box uh, field test and I hope you guys have a good evening. If you like this video, please consider hitting like. Actually, please do hit like. It's going to help me out tr tremendously and consider subscribing for even more content like this. Have a good day, guys. Bye.